My name is Shirley Erskine, and my primary medium is collage. My name is Doreen Renner, and I paint watercolors, acrylic, and mixed media. My name is Lila Lewis Irving. My primary medium these days is acrylic on canvas. My name is Eileen Oswald, and I paint in many mediums, but I guess I favor pastel. I've tried to give back to the um, arts in Mississauga because they were so beneficial in, in, um, uh, in my career as an artist. And I took the opportunity to uh, be on the board of directors for Visual Arts Mississauga, which was a wonderful opportunity. I think I've introduced Mississauga to much more abstract, non-objective kind of painting than they were used to. Now they're more used to it. But I think I was the first one to, uh, to do that kind of thing, and it's pretty important. I guess I'm, I can classify myself as a good supporter of Visual Arts Mississauga, and I've also uh, supported um, the Mississauga Arts Council, and, and uh, I, I just wanted to see the arts develop in Mississauga, because we always co were comparing ourselves to Toronto. And I felt that we had a lot of talent here, but there just wasn't a way to show that talent. That was really a big beginning for me. Um, I was at the very, very first meeting before there was even bricks and mortar surrounding the name Visual Arts Mississauga. And that was held at the Huron Park uh, Recreational Center. And it was a dream, it was just a dream. Visual Arts Mississauga at that point did not exist except in the name, that's all there was to it. In the early days, the art was not as daring. People didn't take chances, it was very traditional. I think uh, it wasn't as uh, streamlined as it is now. I mean, we were new at it and we were feeling our way along and uh, it was much more amateur, but uh, right from the very beginning we got a lot of submissions and uh, discovered that there were a lot of very talented artists in Mississauga. And what I can recall is that it was a perfect opportunity for the artists that were just starting in Mississauga to show their work. And it was a real honor to be chosen to be in the show. In the olden days, we used to, works were juried by bringing the works in. Of course, now it's all done digitally. It was exciting for us, because we're all new artists. And if you got a piece in the BAM show, you were really on top of your game. In about 1990, I decided I was going to limit myself to um, acrylic on canvas and paper and become more abstract. I went through periods of, uh, as every artist should, where you painted what you saw, and then you could branch out into more abstract, which is what I do now. Oh my goodness, I've gone through many, many stages. Uh, in the beginning, um, I did an awful lot of pen and ink work. I did all the historical buildings in Mississauga, uh, reproduced them in cards and so forth. Uh, then took portrait courses and started doing portraits of people um, in my own home. Um, watercolor, of course, always played a big part. I call it my PLP stage with my pretty little pictures, but then I decided to make statements with my work. I started with watercolor classes, which is the most difficult medium, and I didn't know that at the time, but uh, plunged right in and uh, found out that, that it was a difficult medium, but if you could master watercolor, you could paint just about anything. Oh, a lot, because they were one of the first places I went for lessons. Um, I uh, took lessons quite regularly there, and uh, then eventually ended up teaching there for a little bit. Um, but I, I just, it was just making connections with other artists that was the great thing. It's just taken me all over the place, and it all started with Visual Arts Mississauga. It gave me the energy and the 
freedom to move on and to go to art school and to take courses. I took courses overseas. I took courses in the States. Um, I'm still taking courses. VAM helped me when I first, I don't believe I ever took courses at VAM, but I remember I taught at VAM. Oh, it's certainly grown. It's grown tremendously. Uh, I think there's much more opportunity now than there was before. And I think the artists are actually respected now more than they were in my, my beginning days. I think uh, the Visual Arts Mississauga has evolved considerably from when it first started. I think there's many more uh, artists and forms of art that they offer instruction for. It's changed radically. And uh, now there's much more of an international flavor to the community than there used to be. It has developed to the extent that there are professional, well-known artists coming out of Mississauga. And it's such a, a sense of joy to me to see it.